Hey guys, NinjaGuyVR here and we've just got the drop of the early access of Frenzies on MetaQuest. I was one of the lucky few who were able to participate in an early playtest and I had so much fun that I went into 4 playtests in total. So if you're looking for information on this release, you're at the right place, so let's get started! So Frenzies is coming out today, on October 10th, in early access for free on MetaQuest. The game will be compatible with all currently supported quests, including the 3S. The developers are Endreams, who are well known for some very fun games like Fract, Synapse, Little Cities, and more. Let's see how this one compares to their others. As you might have noticed, Frenzies is an online PvP shooter, but what stands out is the arcadey and colorful aspect of it. The game is extremely fast-paced and the time to kill is extremely short, so you have to use your environments very strategically. Something that you'll notice is that you'll see some of the signature mechanics in here that you've seen in other games from Endream such as grabbing a handle to slide down a path, or grab the side of a wall to hide behind it. Personally, I didn't feel like I needed to use this mechanic a lot since you come face to face with your opponents most of the time, but there were situations where it really helped me out, and other situations where the enemies were really well hidden using it, so it's a nice addition on there. One new mechanic added here is the dash, which is one that I find super useful during an encounter. It's very good to avoid being hit or hide quickly when needed. There was a weird issue sometimes where the dash felt more like a teleport for some reason, but I'm sure that it'll be fixed soon. So something cool about the game is that there's a weapon for everyone depending on your playstyle. My favorite ones, as you might have noticed, are the shotguns with 8 bullets. I like them because there's a lot of maps that you'll get close encounters from, so they really clicked with me. I talked to other good players and they felt the same for other types of guns. The weapons in there are a 2 round shotgun, pistols, submachine guns, and others. You can dual wield all weapons and you can actually wield two different weapons at the same time instead of having the same one. So lots of variety and it's worth experimenting with them. Since you're dual wielding, reloading is not completely manual. All you have to do when you run out of bullet is push the clip in your gun. I personally don't mind it at all. It's quick and easy. The only thing though is that when you want to reload before you run out of bullets, you have to press B and Y for your respective weapon. But I don't like that I need to stop moving to hit that Y button. I wish that you could reassign the buttons like maybe pressing the L3 to drop the clip. That would work better for me. Hello. Hey. What's up? You can play with a total of 12 players in either free-for-all or team matches. If you can't find enough players, some bots will be added and I'm pretty impressed with them. Most of the time they'll give a nice challenge and you have to make some effort to kill them. But it's not always the case, they can be weird sometimes. The game is kind of interesting when it comes to how it plays. When it starts, you'll be playing 5 different random modes in total. Think about how you play different modes in Fall Guys. It's kind of like that, but without any eliminations. You'll get things such as Free For All where everybody is against each other and you have to achieve the most kills. How do you grab on? Team Deathmatch where you're matched with a team and you have to eliminate the other 6 players as many times as possible. Grab the piggy bank where you have to hold it as long as possible to get more score. A mode where you have to reach the end of the hallway and push the button at the enemy spawn point. And the mode where you have to dance on the opponent's dance floor to gain some more score. There are some more modes that were super fun during my initial 2 playtests, but I'm not sure if the NDA allows me to talk about them, but just know that they are all super fun. When you're done with your session, you are then transported to a room where the top player will be super big in the middle and you'll get to talk to each other for a bit before it ends. It's pretty trippy when you're the big guy. The game also has some cosmetics. You'll be able to customize your mask, which has a few colors and emotions, your suit, with some interesting color palettes, your gloves, and your shoes. You can also customize your weapon with different types of skins. As I mentioned before, I just really like the colors that they're offering at the moment. I just like the aesthetics in general. A really good looking game in the standalone Quest 3 headset. If you're wondering if there will be more cosmetics in the future, I did ask the developers and they mentioned that there will be new ones when the game comes out of early access. We should see some free ones, but there will also be some paid content. So guys, this is my overview of the game. Hopefully this gives you a general idea to see if this is a game for you or not. 
I personally really enjoyed it and you will most likely see me playing some more now that the game is out. For some reason, realistic shooters doesn't resonate with me too much. I'm more of an arcade guy and yeah, this just really clicked and I was doing really well against others. Thanks for watching! Guys, thank you so much for the support! I'm able to work on these reviews before the release because of you! So do me a favor and hit that subscribe button to see more content like this. It really helps a lot. Hit that like button and let me know in the comments if Frenzy seems like a game for you. See ya!